Hey guys, and welcome back to Lucy, the eternity she wished for. Ah, Alright, so <laughs> I tried to record this yesterday, and I ran into so many problems. It's actually weird. So, day later, and here I am. I swear, it, it's, it's nothing but problems for me. Ah. <laughs> uh, there's something about Lucy. Oh, I'm blaming Lucy. I'm not going to stop the series. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that was a long little rant, I guess. Okay. Let's get into it, right? <laughs> By the way, I snap out of my daydream. When I came to class, uh, when I came to, class had already ended. Huh? What is it? Uh, something about you seems off lately. Oh, what do you mean? Well, you seem to be staring out the window a lot more. Me? Yeah. You're probably just imagining things. Whoa, now. It looks like you haven't even noticed it yourself. Is there something you're worried about? No, nothing like that. You sure? Yeah. Well, if you say so. All right, I'll believe you. He sounds as if he's doing me a favor. Although, I couldn't care less whether he believes me or not. How did your exams go yesterday? What do you think you'll get? No idea. Was it easy? Tough? Well, I wasn't particularly stuck on anything. So, I guess I did alright. Haha, <laughs> way to go, smart guy. Yeah, that means a great deal coming from you. Coming from the top scorer in the entire school to be specific. He's just making fun of me. But it's not like I do bad in school. I can comfortably maintain above average grades. So, which courses are you planning to take? Have you even thought about that yet? No, not yet. I'm fine with anything though, as long as it has nothing to do with robots or engineering. Hey, come on. There you go talking nonsense again. You already know how massive the robotics industry is. You'll be set for life enduring six-figure salaries. It truly is the way to live. Life isn't all about money, you know. <laughs> Aren't you just saying that because you want to avoid anything related to robots? I was found out almost immediately. Dang it. And I thought I sounded a little too cool there, too. Anyway, I'm not good with robots, so I don't plan on going down that road. Ugh. You're such a stubborn idiot. Putting that aside, when are you going to introduce me to her? To whom? You know, your android. The one you found the other day? Oh, you're talking about Lucy. Oh, what's with the pretty name? You must have really taken a liking to her. That's the name she came with. I didn't give it to her. Okay, okay. But you really need to show me. I don't have any time for that. You won't find her interesting anyway. 
I think it'll be quite the opposite. Didn't you tell me that she's a brand new model? She must be loaded with features. Maybe I'll get to see something new. Lucy's figure appears in my mind. I wonder if she really does have any of these features he's asking for. He'll probably just be disappointed once he sees that air-headed idiot. Wait, no, if it's Dr. Gillers we're talking about, he might actually like that side of her. A no is a no. Just give it up already. Ugh, you're such a pain in the butt. Ignoring him, I leave the school grounds. When I looked back, I noticed that Dr. Gears was trailing behind me. I decided to leave him be. It's not like he's actually going to follow me all the way home. I beg to differ. <laughs> but then I suddenly stop in my tracks. At first, I had assumed my eyes were failing me. We're just outside of school. There's no way she would be here. It has to be a different person. No, a different robot with a similar appearance. That's what I had thought. Huh? But as soon as she opened her mouth, all my suspicions were confirmed. She starts running towards me. Without sparing as much as a single glance, I pretend not to notice her and continue walking. <laughs> Quit making a racket, will you? Hey! Doesn't it look like someone's coming towards us? You're just imagining things again. Hmm, really? Yeah. Hmm, I'm almost positive that she's calling out to us. Do you know her by any chance? No, it's probably someone else. I feigned ignorance until the very last moment. However, it was all for naught. Lucy eventually caught up to me. I have no choice but to stop walking. She's sweating like crazy, as a robot. Can she get any more real? Hey, how can you be so dense? If I ignore you on purpose, you're supposed to play along. She's tilting her head again. I shake my head wearily. I just didn't want to be seen with an android in public. But she's obviously incapable of understanding something so subtle. Why are you here anyway? Aren't you supposed to be waiting in front of the house? You're wrong. In fact, it's the very opposite. You don't need to come out this far. 
to sweat at home next time. No buts. Shush. Just don't ever show up here again. She looks pretty disappointed. Meanwhile, Dr. Gears is drooling in excitement. Hey, hey, who's this? Is this the android? The android? He seems to have noticed the code on her midriff. And the object attached to her ear. Yeah. I finally give up and decide to introduce my android. This is Lucy Valentine, also known as PIM001. I don't know much else other than that she's a new model. And since she's not store bought, I don't have the manuals. Dr. Gears approaches Lucy at once and starts poking around everywhere. Wow! 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 What is it? Yeah, unfortunately. Who do you think you are? To be saying something like that. Her face puffs up in anger. Meanwhile, Dr. Gears is still exclaiming in excitement. Wh wow, all these different facial expressions. Is she really an android? Looks just like a real person. Well, yeah, I was also surprised at first. I can't believe how far technology has advanced. The names Bayek, Bayek, I hope I'm saying that right. Bayek, Du San, Du San. This is the happiest day of my life since that one time I won fifth place in a lottery. That sounds pretty insignificant. What's with the Bayek? do son anyway hey at least remember your friend's name considering how long we've known each other huh I thought your name was always Dr. Gears all right enough with the jokes well your wish finally came true what do you think Isn't it obvious? She's the best. Hey, robot lady, did you say your name's Lucy? Oh man, what a beautiful model. What kind of android are you? A domestic type? Do you know how to eat? Then do you know how to cry? Oh, then can you do something like a rocket punch? Okay, I don't know where that came from. He's been watching too much television, I'm sure. Oh gosh! Say what? What kind of purpose does that even serve? Alright. I guess I'm all set for an alien invasion. Her creator is either a genius or an utter nutcase. 
probably both. But to be fair, there are weirder shows out there which involve saving the universe with card games or idol singers. Maybe I shouldn't be so, so surprised about something like a futuristic android shooting laser beams out of its eyes. Well, anything else? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, no. Huh? Impersonations? Hmm, that does seem sound pretty fun to watch. Show me something right now. First, have about a secretary cheering for her boss at a golf course. Not bad, not bad. Then how about a drunk woman at a mixer? Oh my gosh. Next up, Marie Antoinette. <laughs> now, how about the kid detective with an adult's intelligence? Why was that word bleeped out? Uh, you sure you've got the right show? Let's just move on, I suppose. A woman with a love for peanuts. Lucy began pointing her finger at everyone. A female college student about to fail a class. That's enough. How much longer are you going to go for? Does she have no sense of shame? Why don't you take a wild guess? That doesn't really sound like a healthy place to grow up in. Well, judging by how Lucy's personality turned out, Let's just say that the people at the lab might be a tad eccentric. Hey, what's your problem? I was having a good time. Not me. It might be fun when you stoop down to his level. Anyway, you're satisfied, right? I'll be taking her home now. Huh? What's the rush? I wanted to stay with her for a little longer. You wouldn't understand the excitement of getting your hands on the latest products on the market. Since you can see her every day. <laughs> That's an awfully specific way to be jealous. Although I'm not sure if I really get what he's on about. Well, I'll be going home now. See ya. Hey, don't be like that. Let me come along with you. Hey, hey, hey! 
I just ignore him and break into a mad sprint. I ran I run as hard as I can while holding on to Lucy's arm. I can still feel the warmth of a person in my hand. I don't know how long I've been running for. I no longer see anyone following behind me. I let go of Lucy's arm and catch my breath. <sighs> 주인님, 괜찮으신가요? 땀을 많이 흘리고 계시네요. Lucy herself doesn't appear to be too worn out. 땀 때문에 셔츠가 다 젖었어요. 심박수도 상당히 올라가 있고요. She takes out a handkerchief and carefully wipes down my forehead. She's always so well prepared. The handkerchief is giving off Lucy's scent. That is, the fragrance of her perfume. I try to divert my attention away from it. Ugh, I'm, ugh, I'm so tired. 그렇게 열심히 뛰니 그렇지요. She sounds so worried. <sighs> it feels as if I've just run a marathon. I can't believe I'm already this exhausted from running a few meters. It's proof that I'm out of shape. It can't be helped because I'm not very athletic in the first place. I just sit around in the shades during gym classes anyway. I take some time to catch my breath. I start to feel better after a few moments. 주인님. What is it? 갑작스럽게 하는 격한 운동은 몸에 좋지 않답니다. 주의해 주세요. Why exactly do you think I ran away in the first place? 글쎄요. 아, 방금 해당 결과가 검색됐습니다. What? 이게 다간 때문이었군요. You... It was because of you. I wonder where she's even finding this sort of information. If she has a favorites feature, I would like to update it for her. Say... 네? Did you know you could probably pass off as an actual person if you just remove the code on your stomach and that strange thing on your ear? 그런가요? Yeah. So long as you stop being so weird. 주인님, 루시는 얼빠진 소리 같은 건 해본 적이 없답니다. <laughs> ah, I just thought of something funny. I come up with a small lie. Okay, stop. I come up with a small lie to make her stop pouting. I'm surprised that she hasn't realized it herself. Speaking of which, can't you take off that thing? Whatever it is on your ear? That's what I figured. It'd be problematic if there wasn't a way to tell humans and androids apart. Imagine robots like Lucy running amok in our society. There would be a mass confusion and chaos. 저... 주인님. What is it? 집에 돌아가기 전에 들리고 싶은 곳이 있는데요. 안 될까요? You want to stop by somewhere. 네. 깜빡하고 아르바이트비를 안 받아왔거든요. A part-time pay? What do you mean? You work somewhere? 네. 루시는 며칠 전부터 가게 일을 돕기 시작했답니다. A shop? You can't be talking about that place with the weird guy. 이상한? Aha! 네, 맞아요. 
By weird, she knew exactly who I was referring to. Let's have a moment of silence for the repair man. 주인님이 학교에 가 계시는 동안 틈틈이 일을 도와드리면서 일당을 받기로 했어요. I figured she'd be working over there. Why would you bother working in the first place? 그 옛날 백장 선사께서도 그러셨잖아요. 일하지 않는 자 먹지도 말라. 조금이라도 일해서 주인님의 부담을 덜어드릴 생각이에요. I want to ask you something. What my father said about paying the bills. That's still on your mind, isn't it? 사, 사실이 아닙니다. What are you, a politician? 결단코 그러한 사실은 없습니다. I won't get angry, so be honest. Are you an idiot? 주인님, 폭력은 헌법으로 금지되어 있답니다. That doesn't apply to you. 거기다 화안 내기로 해놓고선. I'm just trying to knock some sense into you. It's the same logic as hitting an old television to make it work. 루시는 최첨단 로봇이에요. 고물 TV처럼 다루시면 안 돼요. That's because you keep telling me all of these stupid things. My father was just saying that on a whim. Why would you even care about something like that? He was just making excuses to yell at us. Don't you know about Leon F F Festinger's theory of cognitive dissonance? Le Leo Pesti? 잘 모르겠습니다. 아하, 이제 알겠습니다. I can never get used to how fast she can search anything on the go. So yeah, what my father has been saying is not necessarily the truth. It's just his emotion. It's just his emotions getting the better of him. What I'm trying to say is that the electricity bill is actually none of our concern. 그런가요? Yeah. 그렇다면 다행이에요. Lucy lets out a small sigh. So don't sweat the small stuff. There's no need for you to get a job. 그래도 그것과는 별개로 일은 하고 싶어요. 조금이라도 도움이 되고 싶은 걸요. Even though I'm telling you not to? This robot refuses to listen to its master. If she really wanted to help me, the least she could do is obey. Ugh, so annoying. Go do whatever you want then. I spit out the words as I move along. I'm gonna end it here. Someone is trying to get my attention. They want milk. I'm just like holding the bottle of milk. <laughs> She's like drinking it. I have more, Mom. I demand more. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll be leaving it at that. I hope I can get used to these voices I have to do. I'm not really good with guy voices. I could probably do girl, obviously, but yeah. It's just really hard to do guy voices. Especially trying to fit what voice they'd probably have. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!